All right, let's get to work. So we got the 57 millimeter purple and blue diamond cut Trivex, three millimeter thick. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna make a pair of buffs real quick, assemble these parts. Got the endless diamond frame, all the washers and parts. So whenever you go ahead and you buy a frame from us, that's a replacement part. They're always gonna come with the bolt already on the screw. So you can either go ahead and do this yourself or you can take it to somebody that knows what they're doing. But they're going to charge you, obviously. So, we'll do it for free if you want to. Just send us the frame. That dropped. I don't know if I've got another one, though. But just send us the frame, and uh, we can put the lenses together and everything that you need. So, we can definitely take care of that. These little bolts, we sell these packs of four on the eBay page. I'll put a link right here in the video. So if you ever need <clears throat> replacement nuts, you can always go ahead and grab you a set. There's a link for it right here. If you're going with an endless diamond nose bridge like this, when you're assembling your glasses, is you're going to want to get your plastic washer on first so that way you don't scratch the lenses. You go ahead and you should just be able to slide that in there like that. Take another washer right here and you just throw that on there. Throw the other lens on. Sometimes it's a little tough, but it's just the threads. Usually it's just the threads on the screw. It's a little off, but it'll all get adjusted. So that is set. Now we got to put the washers on this side and you use the metal washers because you want metal on metal. You want the plastic on the lens and then you want the metal on the plastic. So you take one of these and you go ahead and put that like that. Now if you do need replacement screws, you can always get some of these washers when you buy a replacement screw or a pack of screws. The link is right here. This one here. Tighten that down. Do the same thing on the other side. Plastic and then metal. And the reason why you're putting this metal washer on after the plastic one is so when you tighten it down, when you tighten the nut down like this, the metal nut that's getting tightened can press down on that metal and evenly distribute the pressure onto the plastic washer. So it's un it's going to end up flattening the plastic washer out, giving it some shock, right? Letting it absorb shock and pressure. So that's how we do it. And then, of course, we adjust the nose, clean the lens. I'm going to do that real quick. Damn, screwdriver is messing up. It's going to be nice. These will be nice. Make sure everything's straight. I dropped that one gold screw earlier, of course. Now we got almost the frame is done. All right. One of the best things about our glasses is that I do this for every single pair that I make. I try to make sure that everything is perfect. Now at this point, when you have everything set, for the most part, nose pins, everything's set in place. Bolts are tightened and secured to the frame. The lenses are mounted, right? Now... We just got to add the horns. White buffalo horn. Super white. Typically, I put a little bit of glue in here. E6000 works good. This is how you do it, bro. Take one little tiny brush stroke. And you just lay it in there like that. Make sure you're doing it on the right side, too. Boom. Slightest brush stroke. Let these dry. The hinge is pretty tight. Brand new parts, so... Let's see what we got. Where are we falling off at? What do you think? That's what we got. Iced out buffs, purple to blue, Trivex, diamond cut lenses, endless diamond nose, endless diamond frame with genuine buffalo ox horn temples. And uh, that's how it's made, man. And um, we got a special coupon code. It's right here. Only valid for a limited time. All of our iced out CZ frames are on sale right now. So go ahead and go over to the website and check those out. And at the moment, we're getting ready to release some wood frames and some our version of the big C wires. So check us out. Stay tuned. We got some fire. At this point, what I would do with these is I would just put the little caps on. And you can also find these on, at our store, eBay store or our official website. In gold or silver. <clears throat> I'm out of silver ones right now. We got some more coming, but simply 
you just put these on here like so and what it does is it helps you uh it helps keep the bolt tight so it'll come loose a lot a lot slower but if you're dealing with any type of rimless glasses, buffs, Cartiers, or whatever, it doesn't matter, wires, if, if they're rimless, man, nine times, they're going to definitely come loose. You're going to have to tighten them up and take care of them. It's just how it is. So it's not, you know, it's just how it is, man. I need on this video, I need 100 likes, and I'll show you all video on how to curve your horns. I'll make a video on how to curve the horns if you give me some likes, show me some love. So I know I'm not wasting my time doing this nonsense. And I appreciate it. Holidays are here. They're almost here. So if you're looking for a custom frame, like low profile custom frame like so. Real stones, moissanite, labs, or genuine diamond, natural. We can do this. This is what we do. Start your order now because turnaround time on those are... are um, about 30 days on some custom parts maybe a little sooner two weeks to 30 days somewhere in there but let us take care of you shop icedoutbuffs.com today